Hi, today we're going to show you the unboxing of a Hikvision DS-2CD2755FWD-IZS. This is a 2.8-12mm camera and it's motorised lens so when you've actually initialised it and put it on your network you can manually focus and zoom this camera and not from the actual camera itself. So the camera itself comes in this box with a basic description of its specification and then on the side there actually shows you where its serial number would be, resolution, model number, lens size. Now opening the camera, it's packaged in a big foam package and it comes with a series of extra little bits. We've got a quick user guide there to actually give you basic instructions, CD with some basic software on it and then some tools in a bag there. That will be a cable entry connector which I'll show you where that goes shortly with a small Allen key star bolt to take the lids off and some fixing plugs and screws and a cover to wipe the lens of the camera. So if we start by taking this out of the box, you'll see here that we've got a box there for the SD card. At the back here we've got its mounting plate with some sealing plugs that go into the back of the camera and this plate actually comes off. So <coughs> to remove that, all you need to do is remove the three lid screws. The lid is actually attached by a small bungee. Then we've got three screws here. You just need to loosen slightly when you first get out of the box. And that will free up the back plate there. Now, we can see from that, that this will actually clip off. So just a small screwdriver to help lever that down. More screws in the back there. Now the back plate comes off. So, in the package before, where I showed you that it had some extra parts, this here can actually give you a guide there for your tubing or containment and give it a bit of a finish for when it's actually on the wall. Then we can screw this to the back of the wall and then this clip back in its place. Now the cable entry would come through any series of these depending on what you're actually using on the actual camera itself. that back in and then there's actually a, an anchor wire here so if your cable entry is coming through on the back of here we've actually got an alarm in and an alarm out audio out audio in your LAN connector and 12 volt DC if required and a little anchor point here and that can help if you're putting it up because you can hang that over there and it can suspend your camera in the location where you actually need it to be when all the connections have been made, we can put that back together. And that cable entry point there, we can actually remove that so that that can go in its place. That will be against the wall. We can tighten these back up.
and then with a the camera then we can rotate the camera we can tilt the camera and we can spin the center around to get your horizontal to the correct place and it does actually give you a very slight options there you can just about see 90 so it actually tells you what degrees you've actually got it pointing at there is also another connection here which is for a plug on cable that you also get with it that you can plug into a normal analog test monitor so that you can point this generally in the right direction and get the horizontal correct and then you can put the lid on remember we can focus and zoom this later on through the software itself put the lid back on and that would be how your camera would look obviously if we're using a rear entry to get the cables into the back plate this wouldn't be necessary and we would have left this blanking plate in the bottom of the camera there instead and then that gives us our way in the bottom there i hope that answers any questions that you've got for that one I hope you're watching the video. Thank you. Bye.